what's going on guys thanks for coming back and checking out the video well um, been working on the skyline here I've been trying to fix the air conditioning uh, it's the middle of the summer it's crazy hot I figured I'd make an AC video real quick um, the compressor clutch coil is bad on this so I'm in the middle of replacing it and I figured I'd just show you how to test for it if you think that's what's wrong with your car and if it is, how to replace it. All right, so this is my 1990 Nissan Skyline, and I just want to show you real quick. This is the AC compressor, and I got the coil out of it, and the pulley and everything out of it. Everything's still in the car, the system is still charged, okay? So I did have to take the radiator out. So this is a 240SX compressor I have here. Here's the plate off of the Skyline I have over there. Here's the pulley, okay? And here's the coil. All right, okay, here's my new coil here. If you have a Skyline and you're watching this video, um, like an R32, uh, this is a new compressor clutch coil here. These are pretty rare, so if, you, uh, if you're trying to get one, hit me up down in the comments and I'll tell you where to get one of these guys right here. But uh, anyways, here I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and test it. Like, we're gonna pretend this is in the car. and Test it and find out if the compressor clutch is going bad on you, okay? What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a multimeter, that's it. Pretty simple and you're gonna to need to be able to set that multimeter on resistance okay all right so this is gonna be super duper easy got my meter on I got my two leads here I got a positive and a negative it doesn't matter which one you use but when you're looking for your compressor you know it's gonna have two lines going in here you'll see a connector okay all we need to do is use this wire here to find out the resistance and this compressor clutch coil okay so all you gotta do is stick that on the terminal that's in there, and then all you gotta do is ground this guy to the same ground that's on the compressor. And we're looking for ohms here, okay? So this is a rebuilt compressor, and it's reading 4.4 .4 ohms, okay? So what we're looking for is anything below five ohms, but not below two ohms, okay? Once you get started at uh, below three, you need to get worried that the coil is on its way out, okay? But if it reads anything below two, it's dead, all right? So, um, five, um, there shouldn't be more resistance than five, all right, pretty much. So what's happening here is, like, here's my bad one, okay? I'll go ahead and test this guy, all right? It doesn't have the connector on it, I'm sorry, I ended up cutting it off. I'm just gonna ground this out here, all right? And this guy is actually at 0.8 of an ohm, okay? Almost like half an ohm. So, one of the windings that's in here, there's a bunch of copper wire that's wound up in here. One of these guys here is shorting out or it's broke and it's causing less resistance in the coil and what that is, without the resistance, uh, the fuse in the car is popping right away. Okay, The AC still works for a second but there's such low resistance that the, the, the fuse keeps popping. All right, So this is a bad one, I'll show you again one more time, that 0.9, no good. All right, and then here's my brand new replacement one for the Skyline. I'll show you with that one. This one actually reads a little bit different as far as the resistance goes. The resistance is actually really low with this uh, super, this is a super Japanese part. Um, these coils are known to fail in the Skylines. Like, my car there, that this it's 30 years old, but it only has about 60,000 miles. So these compressor coils are really, just really fragile, I guess you can say. So I'll go ahead and hook it up to the terminal there. And then go ahead and ground it out right here on the wire that's right over here. And we're looking at 3.6. So these things uh, are pretty fragile over time. A lot of wear and stuff like that. The resistance ends up going down. And I end up popping fuses, okay? So it's pretty simple. Uh, no more than five. And then no less than two. And uh, that's how you uh, test a compressor clutch coil. Okay, so if you want to replace the coil, leave the compressor on the car. It's going to save you a ton of money. I promise you, okay? Because the coils themselves... They range anywhere between 40 and under 100 bucks. Compressors themselves for a good name brand one, you're talking about hundreds of dollars, then you're gonna have to deal with refrigerant, and that's some more money. So if you're doing this on the car, you wanna take it apart and replace it. Um, it's got a bolt right in the middle. Uh, sometimes you need a tool to hold this pool and prevent it from spinning. But if you got tools that are fast enough, you can get the bolt right out without it spinning, okay? okay. Take the bolt right out, okay? Now the cover itself, with the plate, um, you can kind of just pry it off. Okay, this one comes off real easy because it's been rebuilt. It's nice and clean, okay? And pull the plate right off. 
okay? And you gotta be careful, sometimes there's a little washer down in here, you're gonna re need to reuse that. Now, so the coil lives uh, behind this pulley and this pulley, so the pulley has to come off. Okay, so here's the Skyline pulley again. This is what it looks like behind it. This fits together like that, okay? So we gotta get behind it. Sometimes these bearings that's in here goes bad, you need to replace those. They're really easy to replace. Basically, you can, just, you can just hammer these guys out with a socket and hammer a new one right in. All right, so things get a little bit different depending on what car you're working on. This car, okay, this compressor is different from my project car over here, the way this pulley mounts to the compressor. So it's probably different in your car if you're watching this. And the way this one works is it works with this locking ring right here that I have to loosen up. Okay, take off. Here's the locking ring. Now most cars use a snap ring. Okay, this is a snap ring. You need a pair of pliers, snap ring pliers, to get it off. Okay, so that's usually like this way, like like that. It's actually the wrong one. Like this, like that. Okay, and you're just gonna pull it off, pull the snap ring off. This one has like a lock ring in here. I need to get this guy out of here. Here's the lock ring. Okay, chain ring. Sometimes these pulleys will come right off, okay? So, in my Skyline, it came right off, no problem. And this one, it'll come right off, this is nice and clean. Sometimes they don't want to come off, like in some Jeeps that I've had, and you need to use a puller to actually pull this off. But this guy will come right off, because this is a rebuilt presser, it's nice and clean. You can kind of just kind of pull it right apart, okay? You can see here, nice and clean. There's the coil here, okay? And this coil, if you look inside of it, it's held on with these Phillips screws. All we gotta do is take these Phillips screws right out and replace the coil. It's that simple. Just put it back in the same orientation you took it out. Um, pretty much where this wire sticks right out. It's that simple. If you look at my Skyline one, like this one, there's no Phillips screws down in there. It uses um, a snap ring. So there's a snap ring in there. And that can be a little challenging to do on the car, depending on how much room you had. Like I had to take the radiator out to be able to use the pliers in there. But pretty much you just end up replacing it with uh, the new one. Slapping it all back together. Make sure you don't forget the washer that might be in here. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty freaking simple on how to replace them. All right, all you gotta do is slap it back together. All right, well that's pretty much it for the video. If you're on Facebook, do me a favor, hit that like, follow. If you're on YouTube, do me a favor, and hit subscribe, thumbs up. Throw me some comments down below if you have any questions or anything like that. Check out the channel, I got a bunch of things on there, you know, if you're into Jeeps, import cars, trucks, whatever, there's everything on my channel, and I really appreciate all my subscribers for, you know, coming, checking things out, telling me what they think, uh, without them, couldn't do this right here, okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend, can't wait to get this all back together in my skyline, it's freaking hot, super hot, it's so hot I got the garage closed, okay, because, it's hotter outside than it is in a closed room. Alright, <laughs> you guys take care of safe. Later.